After the deadly mid-air collision, President Trump took aim at air traffic controllers and the FAA's hiring practices. Right now, there is a severe staffing shortage. The controllers union says it's more than 3,500 positions short nationwide. And now, as WBZ's Tiffany Chan reports, a UMass program is working to spark interest in the profession. So this is the, these are our two runways. Inside the UMass Transportation Center in Chicopee. Okay, so that plane we just saw was this plane that aborted its landing. You'll find one of the only 360 air traffic control tower simulators in the country. The University of Massachusetts Amherst hopes to develop a program using this technology to train the next generation of air traffic controllers. Looking at Baltimore Airport here. This is exactly what you would see from the tower. Down to the equipment, software, and headset. Right now, UMass uses this aviation research center as a tool to show students all sorts of professions, from pilots and flight attendants to air traffic controllers. We have a controller short shortage in this nation. 10,800 certified controllers are out there doing this job day in and day out where there should be 14,335. This week's fiery crash over Reagan National Airport highlights how crucial these jobs are. The FAA's website says you have to be younger than 31 with years of rigorous training before you can even apply to be an air traffic controller. It's a very tedious job and even just being in this room right here, you can kind of feel the stress of the, the situation. It's a very uh, high intense job. So there's one way out there that's going to be coming into view in a second here that you'll see coming into final approach. This technology is a replica of the real thing. Steps from Westover Municipal Airport. UMass hopes that in the future they can offer meaningful hands on experience Not to help an industry approach. desperate they for skilled workers. From Chicopee, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News.